Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about what to do if your guard starts to get passed when you sit up for a Kimura. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but if my opponent gets to half guard, I can utilize a sweep to get on top, still finish the Kimura if I want, and then here's another one what we can do is if they pass our guard entirely, how can I roll them and finish a variety of techniques. All right, guys, let's take a look at the position. Going for the Kimura is one of my favorite things to do on the bottom because if I miss the Kimura, maybe I'm sitting up in a strong position to sweep. So our standard way kind of to grab our Kimura, I'm sitting up and I grab, but if I do a bad job and my partner is able to get over top of my leg, usually they'll hide their hand as well. So, oops, I just opened my guard too wide, he stapled my hand, and now I'm here. So if he stays on my leg in a good staple, it's pretty hard to move him. So what I want to do is just keep him there. So I'm going to put that leg over the top so he can't easily get over the other side. I can figure four from here, whatever I'd like. But from here, a lot of times, if I can connect my legs behind him, I can at least off balance him a little bit, a little bit by pulling my knees to the other side. So if I lock this together, it kind of knocks him up a little bit and I can get him a little bit off balance here. But if he's grabbing his grip on the belt or the pants, it's going to be pretty hard to rip it out. So what I like to do is pull to off balance as far as I can. When he pushes back, I extend my arms and I ride over the top. Okay? So we go back to here. So I'm pulling. I'm trying to finish that across his back towards the back of his head. When I feel him push back, instead of pull, I'm going to push. When I push, I'm going to step over here. And because I created a butterfly hook for my opponent by locking my legs, when I take him over, I want to usually take that out before he realizes it's there or can't use it. Okay? So again, I'm going from my finishing my attack to pulling to pushing. So I sit up, he staples, hides his arm, I catch his leg, I pull. Again, I back step here. I can hang on to the arm. So similar motion when they pass my guard entirely. Some of us will know that it's not a good idea to hang on to a Kimura when they've passed my guard because there's an arm bar they can go for. So if I go here and my partner steps all the way over, now I don't really want to be going for the pull to finish. I want to do what I did earlier and extend. So right when I extend, if he steps up to try to get around my head to north-south, now I go back to my pull of course, I can go here. If I stay on my side and he tries to sit up to me, I can bring myself under. I'm sure we've all seen those Kimura Trap videos. They're very good. This is something I've personally been using for um, a long time. And as soon as I learned that I could be arm barred as the bottom hand, I didn't hang on to this grip so much. So he passes my guard, I frame away. When he steps up, commits to north-south, I pull. Here, whatever my favorite finish is, I've got his arm, so that's what I really like. A lot of options, give it a try, see what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.